night. For Your Life Now and an international consensus just came out on hormone replacement therapy. And this is really a big deal for women. Yeah, some say it's the most effective treatment for menopause symptoms, but it is a controversial issue. Joining us now is Dr. Patricia Dolan of Columbia St. Mary's. Let's talk about these recommendations and then how you feel about them. Okay. Well, the International Menopause Society met in November of 2012. They actually called together uh, different societies from the United States, Europe, and Asia. And they've made new recommendations that are going to be helpful for women at the time of menopause who are looking for relief from menopausal symptoms. So who can benefit from it, and, and, uh, and, and what are some of the benefits? Mm -hmm. Well, the benefit would be treatment of some of the symptoms that we know very classically, the hot flashes, night sweats, sleepless nights mood changes. Women since 2002 in this country have been kind of fearful about hormone therapy and now mm -hmm. this consensus says it is the most effective treatment for women all the way through to the age of 60 or for 10 years after menopause. You talked about women being fearful about the treatment. What are the risks? Mm -hmm. Well in 2002 this country released a billion dollar study called the Women's Health Initiative that implicated uh, high levels of breast cancer and possible uh, cardiovascular risk. Now we're seeing on the international stage that these risks are really minimized. And so a healthy woman at the time of menopause really can be much more free to entertain the idea of menopause hormone therapy. And so how long would you be on the hormone therapy? Well, there's no, um, in, there's no one size fits all mm -hmm. kind of a mm -hmm. situation, but this consensus says up through 10 years, age 60, or through 10 years postmenopause. Mm. Prior to this, we've been very restrictive to women three to five years. Now we're realizing they can benefit for a longer period of time. So going with that one size doesn't fit all, mm -hmm. does every woman, can every woman do this or, or no? Right. Not every woman can do it, so we have to assess women for other factors, diabetes, heart disease, and the biggest, of course, breast cancer. And, uh, you know, when you go to your doctor to talk about hormone therapy, it's a great time to talk about your lifestyle. How am I eating? How am I exercising? Am I relaxing? Am I de-stressing? So it's a time to really look at everything that's going to make your life better at the time of menopause. Good advice. Hormone therapy, just one of the attributes. Absolutely. Thank mm -hmm. you. Dr. Patricia Dolan of Columbia St. Mary's. Appreciate you coming in for Wisconsin tonight. Thank you so much. Many of us are uh, more than ready.